All right, I'd like to call this meeting to order and Jason, can we start with the roll call, please? Okay, Council President McIrvin. Here. Council Member Prince. Here. Council Member Perez. Here. Council Member Vaughn. Here. Council Member Alverson. Here. Council Member Rivera. Here. And Council Member O'Halloran. Here. Roll call, Mr. Mayor, all present. All right, thank you. And tonight we have two proclamations. Um, the first one is Lunar New Year Day. Okay. Proclamation, Lunar New Year Day. Whereas the traditional Chinese Lunar New Year celebration, also known as the Spring Festival, uh, dates back as early as the 14th century BC. And whereas 2022 is the year of the tiger, which is a symbol of bravery, courage, and strength. And those born during the year of the tiger are said to be born leaders. And whereas the Lunar New Year is celebrated uniquely in many different Asian countries, but regardless of the country, culture, religion, or ethnicity, the day is a time for family reunions, gatherings, reaffirming bonds, and reflection. And whereas the diverse Asian community in Renton is home for many Asian families that have been here for generations, as well as newer Asian immigrants. And whereas the city of Renton, with its rich demographic diversity, Beautiful parks, friendly and prosperous businesses, many community services, and excellent schools has provided a welcoming environment for the Asian community to call Renton their home. Now, therefore, I, Armando Pavoni, Mayor of the City of Renton, do hereby proclaim February 1st, 2022 to be Lunar New Year Day in the City of Renton, and I encourage all members of the community to join me in this special observation, and witness whereof I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the City of Renton to be affixed the 7th day of February, 2022, Senator Armando Pavoni, Mayor of the City of Renton. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Councilmember Van. Um, I move that this proclamation be adopted as read. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Van, seconded by Council President McGurvin, that the proclamation be adopted as read. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. All right, and tonight we have a couple of people here to accept the proclamation. Um, Tony Ayo, uh, Hardy, what is it, Hardy Lee, and Brian Doe. And I see Tony on the screen here. And Hardy, yes. All right. There we go. All right, good evening, Tony. Hi, I'm here, how are you doing? Good. So, um, would you like to say a few words? We just, um, uh, we just adopted the proclamation um, that we signed in. I'm very honored and then uh, receiving this uh, proclamation from my uh, community. I really appreciate all the work you guys done for our community. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hardy, would you like to say a few words? Sure, sure. Thank you. Uh, uh, I guess I call you Armando here. If, uh, if it does not crack, I apologize. But thank you for the city, the mayor, the, the council of uh, city of Renton. In particular, uh, Ms. Wang, uh, Council Member uh, Wang, you folks uh, has, have done a fabulous job to make this happen. I believe this is the first year, right? First time, okay. no? It's a more, more than first time. Well, sorry, I need to be involved more. I mean, been uh, living in actually city of Linton for the last 18 years. I, I own a house up in uh, Linton High. You know, I need to be involved in more uh, regarding the city's affair. And apparently, you know, that, that's more than one time. But we do appreciate it. Uh, you know, I myself, on behalf of uh, uh, United Chinese Americans of Washington here tonight, I'm the chairman of the board of UCAWA. And uh, thank you for inviting me to be part of it. And uh, we're really proud of it and appreciate the effort. Thank you very much. And Happy New Year. 
Happy New Year to you both. Yes, uh, well, thank you both for, for being here. And I know that Tony's been involved in our community and we're happy to help you uh, get more involved in, in the community. So thank you both for joining us tonight. Thanks again. Yes, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Okay. Mr. Mayor? Yes. If I may. Yeah. Yeah. And, yes. And thank you so much uh, for the proclamation, Mr. Mayor and council members. This means a lot to our community. Um, and like Mr. Lee said, very much something that is, even while it's not the first, it's the third time, very much historical for our community that we preach a, a inclusion and um, uh, the strength in diversity. So very much appreciated this. So thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Uh, next up, we have the uh, Black History Month proclamation. Okay, proclamation, National Black History Month. Whereas the beginning of Black History Month was first called Negro History Week as conceived and announced by historian Carter G. Woodson and celebrated during February 1926. And whereas in 1976, 50 years after the first celebration, the nation had come to recognize the importance of black history in the American story. And the week was expanded to a month. And whereas confident that their struggles matter in human history, black scholars, artists, athletes, faith and community leaders of all ages have used their talents to change how the world views African Americans. And whereas African Americans, as well as other people of African descent, have been influential in shaping world politics and diplomacy. And whereas African Americans are establishing and maintaining successful enterprises in Renton. And whereas the Association for the Study of African American Life and History, ASALH, has selected Black Health and Wellness in 2022 as their 96th annual National Black History Month theme, acknowledging not only the legacy of black medical practitioners in Western medicine, uh, but also birth workers, doulas, midwives, nat uh, naturopaths, herbalists, and others throughout the African diaspora. And whereas the city of Renton, in partnership and communication with residents, businesses and schools is dedicated to building an inclusive, informed city with equitable outcomes for all in support of social, economic and racial justice. And whereas the city of Renton has videotaped and archived the virtual tour of Renton's African American historical sites. And whereas the Renton African American community and the city of Renton are honoring Black History Month with Black Health and Wellness, a special event with speakers and a panel dialogue on February 26, 2022 at 2 p.m. Now, therefore, I, Armando Pavoni, Mayor of the City of Renton, do hereby proclaim the month of February 2022 to be National Black History Month in the City of Renton. And I encourage all citizens to join me in learning more about the rich history of African Americans during this special observance. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the City of Renton to be affixed the 7th day of February 2022, signed Armando Pavoni, Mayor of the City of Renton. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilmember Prince. I move the proclamation be adopted as read. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member Prince, seconded by Council Member Alberson that the proclamation be adopted as read. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. All right, and tonight we have uh, two people here to, um, to accept the proclamation. We have, well, I see Dr. Linda Smith and um, Trinice Tree Williams. I do not see her on the screen yet. Well, Dr. Smith, how are you doing? I'm great, thank you, thank you. Thanks for asking. Good to see you. Likewise. Would you like to say a few words? Yes, I would. I am hoping Tree will be available, but uh, again, um, thank you um, on behalf of the community. Um, to you and the city council for the acknowledgement of Black History Month in the city of Renton. Black history is American history. And, and as over the years here in the city of Renton, we have been grateful to highlight the many ways in which history is made. Tree Williams, the Black Lives uh, Matter mirror work exemplified the power of art in healing and bringing about justice. The mirror work is such a powerful way of transforming our community. Her work was not just a drawing, but a story of justice in a world as God would have it. Art brings people from all backgrounds together for the common good. Tree Williams' work is the heart and soul of not just this Black community, but our entire community here in Renton, because so many communities came out to, to make that possible. 
The Black Lives Matter mirror is not just a painting, but a story of a people, a connection of a community. And we're grateful for Tree Williams and all the other Black artists here in the city of Rin, giving voice to things that matter in transforming our community. We couldn't think of a more worthy person to accept this proclamation. So we're grateful tonight that Tree, and I'm hoping that she's on, accept this on behalf of the entire community and the Renton community. Thank you. Thank you, and we are looking. Mr. For Mayor, I don't tree. see Tree in attendance. I do not see her either. If I may, Mr. Mayor, I'm so sorry for the interruption. I'm not sure if she has the correct Zoom link. She has texted me to say that she has she's on, but they have they have not let her in yet. So that makes me leads me to believe she may not have the correct Zoom link. Okay. So it was sent to both of us in the same email. So you might want to check that back. I I am I will tell her that. But yes, yeah, she says that she is on and she hasn't been let in yet. So I well, I don't. well if we can um, what we can do is we can let um, we can move on and do the administrative report and then if we can get her on we can have her um, talk just before um, audience comments. Great. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Open, hold in my breath here to see if she signs that. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and move on. Next, we have the administrative report. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, City Hall is open for in-person services Monday through Wednesday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The municipal court counter is open Thursday and Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. For more information and before making the trip, please visit our website as our staff continues to develop new ways to offer virtual and online services. Only a few more days to visit the Renton History Museum's current exhibits, which end on Thursday the 11th. Be sure to check out the annual art show of the Brain Injury Alliance of Washington and the Life on the Rivers exhibits before they end on Thursday, February 11th. February is Black History Month. In addition to the City of Renton's Black History Month proclamation that was presented at this evening's council meeting, be aware of these additional events throughout the month. The African Americans Reach and Teach Health is, is hosting two events, February 5th, 12.30 to 1.30 p.m., Conversations on Black Wellness, February 9th and February 23rd, 5 to 6 p.m., African Dance and Rituals. On Tuesday, February 15th at 1 p.m., the City of Bellevue will be hosting cultural conversations, Story in the Cloth, Quilting Traditions and Practices in the African American Community. On Thursday, February 17th at 5 p.m., Northwest African American Museum is hosting the Past, Present, and Future of Black History, moderated by Dr. Quintard Taylor of the University of Washington, with keynote speaker Lonnie Bunch III, Secretary of the Smithsonian Institution. On Saturday, February 26th, from 12 to 2 p.m., the Renton African American Community and the City of Renton will co-host a Black History Month celebration. Planning is still in progress and more information will be available soon. Registration and additional information on each of these events can be found on their websites, which we have included and linked in this report online. On Saturday, February 12th, stop by Northwest Share Free Vegetarian Food Truck from 12 to 2 p.m. to enjoy a free lunch. The food truck will be located at Renton Chamber of Commerce. Additional lunch distributions are scheduled for March 26th, April 16th, and May 7th. Information about preventative street maintenance, traffic impact projects, and road closures happening this week can be found at rentonwa.gov forward slash traffic. All projects are weather permitting and unless otherwise noted, streets will always remain open. This concludes this administrative report. Thank you. All right, thank you. And I still don't see Tree Williams. Miss, Miss, Mr. Mayor? Yes, Mr. Mr. Smith. Uh, Tree says that she, uh, she's there. She says she has her hands up, so I don't know what that means. Um, there's somebody else that has their hand up. Is she on Mina Merchant's account? Is that what it is? Probably. Okay. Yes. Okay, that works. We, there we go. Bring her in. So I'm um, definitely not Mina. Sorry, good <laughs> folks. 
but Mina is a good person, and we can just start with that. Thank y'all for acknowledging me, and um, I want to acknowledge Mina Merchant for um, all her hard work and her vision to get this whole ball rolling. And um, yeah, it's been an amazing, amazing project, and um, I'm glad we was able to get it on the street. And um, hopefully, we can move forward and um, you know continue to pour into our community and uh, continue to focus on diversity. But uh, thank y'all. Well, thank you. I'm glad we figured it out and 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 got you on the screen to accept the proclamation. So. Oh yeah, thank y'all. I do accept yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, it's some of the technical difficulties we go through in the COVID world here on doing everything remotely. So, and we have to be flexible. Well, thank you very much for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next up, do we, we have audience comment. I don't believe we had anybody signed up to speak. Mr. Mayor, we do have one person. Um, we have Sean Hashim in, signed in to speak tonight. Okay, let me uh, let me read our um, our intro here. Okay, next we'll open the remote audience comment period. It remains the strong intent of the city to have public comment regularly included on our agendas. Each speaker will be given five minutes to speak. You'll be called upon by a city staff member. The staff member will call the speaker's name and unmute the appropriate microphone, which will send an automatic prompt to the speaker of, you've been unmuted. This is the speaker's cue that it's their turn to speak. Please begin your comments by stating your name, city of residence, and the topic you're addressing. Speakers should be able to see a timer on the screen. Please finish up your comments when you see the time is close to expiring. Okay, and we have one speaker. Yes, that is Sean Hashim. Sean, go ahead. Hi there, uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear okay, you. Okay, great, thank you. Um, I didn't really have a planned uh, um, thing to state other than I had spoken to Chip Vincent and I was aware that um, there had been discussions about um, down zoning <clears throat> the city of Renton and um, I was very concerned about that and I wanted to be sure that you know if anything like that was thought out that it was um, you know um properly thought out and and done professionally um we've owned a, a 326,000 foot property on 22 acres known as Times Square um Brenton and um you know industrial uh is not what it, it's surrounding the project but um it's currently office and I don't think down zoning a property uh, is the right thing to do without um, planning and understanding traffic studies and, and many things. So, you know, I'm not very prepared on this, only that if there's any consideration that I think that the whole community should be aware about what, what it is that the intent is. Uh, I had brought it up to Chip Vincent that, um, you know, there was some interest uh, in our project, um, uh, possibly as a, for some industrial use, and that it probably not, may not be something that the city um, uh, would be excited about today. And I said, well, I'm already zoned that. They're like, yeah, well, the city's been suffering with um, distribution centers and um and trucking and this and that and you know um some of these depots that um for that what do you call it, the second mile i'm not really an industrial guy i'm really an office guy but um it, it allows for a lot of these trucks to actually have you know keep their um the transloads to keep their trucks actually um on the sites rather than being on the streets. And I own a, a very large property in Georgetown where I suffer greatly with trucks always parked on the streets. And so you guys are in an area near the airport and it's uh, you're known for industrial. And I think you guys have to embrace it to some extent. And I don't think 
it will easily be acceptable that you will down zone the community of Renton. You know, um, it's a it's a very important location for industrial and trucking. And um, despite the fact that, you know, uh, the city wants some balance, I think that there needs to be a conscious decision on how you go about it. And there's more public hearings about it and a deeper study. And I wish I was more prepared. I am coming out to Seattle, so I'd be happy to meet anybody um, and bring in some uh, some people. But um, I, I just hope that you guys take this um, seriously because I don't think that, um, you know, it should be done uh, if it's not done correctly. I, I, don't, I don't really have much more to say, but that uh, I hope that they don't um, do this without it really being thought out. And, and that's it. And I'd like to hear more about it, actually. Okay, thank you. And I believe uh, I believe Chip Vincent is here. Can we please promote him so that he and or Vanessa can speak to this issue? Hello, Chip. Hello, Mayor, um, Council members, and uh, thank you for inviting me in to uh, this provide some clarification on the information that was just shared with you um, by Mr. Hashim, who is the representative owner of the Times Square Office Center down on about 39th and Lynn, if you're familiar with that site. Um, Mr. Hashim and I had a conversation last week uh, regarding the, his potential of possibly selling um, a existing commercial office complex uh, to a distribution center developer. And uh, I explained to Mr. Hashim our concerns uh, in the city regarding the impacts of having more distribution centers as well as the revenue loss. And I would not classify this, use the term um, down zoning, that is not a term that I would use to describe um, what's being what's being con conversed with here. What I would say, what I want to share with the council that I shared with Mr. Hashim last week was that this particular item was put on the work program uh, that's a draft now before the Planning and Development Committee that will be discussed next Monday at Planning and Development Committee and uh, we will be looking at this, but there, there's a larger issue, just so the council's aware of the concern of the department regarding the increase in the number of requests and applications for large distribution centers uh, in the valley or the city. And the fact that it really provides very little uh, return on investment in terms of tax base for the city, number one, it adds significantly to our congestion in the valley, in the city, having these located here, number two. And number three, and really concerned with the Times Square project specifically, is that uh, the employee to acre ratio is not good. It's These are very land consumptive land uses with a, not a lot of employment associated with them in contrast to the current Times Square today. So I just wanted to share with you that's the context and clarification of the conversation that I had with Mr. Hashim, and I will be talking with all of you as well as planning and development committee next Monday more about this as part of CED's annual work program. All right. Any any questions for Mr. Vincent before we move on? All right. Thank you. Thank you very much for that clarification. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, next up we have the um, consent agenda. There are 10 items for council consideration. Are there any items that council would like to pull for separate discussion? Seeing none, Mr. Mayor, I move the, the council approve the consent agenda as, as published. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council President McGurvin, second by Council Member Prince, that the consent agenda uh, be approved as published. 
All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. All right, motion carries. Next, we have unfinished business. Council President McGurvin. Uh, no unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Okay, Council Mayor Prince. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Council Mayor Perez. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Council Mayor Van. Uh, no unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Council Member Alberson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The Utilities Committee has one committee report to present. Okay, Utilities Committee committee report, agreement for professional services with BHC consultants. Uh, the Utilities Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve the agreement with BHC consultants in the amount of $702,491 for design and services during bidding for the Windsor Hills Utility Improvements Project. Mr. Mayor? Councilmember Robertson. I move that the council concur with the Utilities Committee committee report. Seconded. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Alberson, second by Councilmember Herr, that the council concur with the Utility Committee report. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. All right, motion carries. Thank you. Councilmember Rivera. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Councilmember O'Halloran. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. All right, thank you. We have le zero legislation tonight. So we're going to jump right into new business. We'll throw it again. Councilmember McGurvin. Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I uh, just want to announce, first of all, the uh, Committee of the Whole will not be occurring on Monday, February 14th. Uh, we've canceled that meeting. Uh, but the regular council will be convening uh, at 7 p.m. via video conference um, that same day. And that's all, Mr. Mayor. All right, thank you. Councilmember Prince. Yes, Mr. Mayor, on Monday, February 14th, 2022 at 5.15, the Planning and Development Committee will be meeting by video conference. We have four items on the agenda. Urban Forestry Management Plan, uh, Docket 16, 2022 Work Program, and Emerging Issues in CED. That's all, Mr. Mayor. All right, thank you. Councilmember Perez. Plenty of business, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Okay, Councilmember Van. Uh, no new business, Mr. Mayor. Councilmember Alberson. No new business, Mr. Mayor. Council Member Rivera. No new business, Mr. Mayor. And Council Member O'Halloran. Yes, Mr. Mayor. On Monday, February the 14th at 4 p.m., the Finance Committee will be meeting via video conference. We have nine items on the agenda Sunset Garden Grant with the Written Housing Authority, the 2020 Washington State Department of Health SNAP Incentive Agreement Amendment 3. Conservation fee payment for Kulon North Walk, uh, Water Walk regulatory approval. Mackenzie Engineering Agreement for City Hall 7th Floor Tenant Improvements Design, Development, and Contract Documents, Contractor Documents. New Singular Wireless uh, PC LLC at the Highlands Reservoir Lease Agreement. The Rainier Grady Junction Transit Oriented Density Planned Action. EIS grant and contract, the American Rescue Plan Act spending plan, vouchers, and finally emerging issues in finance. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. All right, thank you. Full day. Okay, uh, well, let's see here. What's the wish of the council this time? Mr. Mayor. Yes, Council President McGurvin. I move that the council meeting recess into executive session for 30 minutes to discuss labor negotiations pursuant to RCW 4231-44B with no official action to be taken and that the council meeting be adjourned when the executive session is adjourned. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember McGurvin, second by Councilmember Prince, that we move to executive session for approximately 30 minutes. We will um, adjourn directly after and there will be no action taken. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. All right, we are off to executive session. That's it.